in genetics another important topic now we are going to discuss what is that that is a genetic disorders the actually the genetic disorder basically divided into two types what are that these genetic disorders are divided into the two types one is mendelian mendelian disorders disorders the second one is chromosomal disorders see here again in the mendelian disorders now we are going to discuss in the mendelian disorders all mono genetic disorders or mendelian monogenetic disorders the next uh, this mendelian disorders should follow the the pattern of the mendel inheritance it should follow the mendelian mendelian pattern of inheritance what are the mendelian disorders the mendelian disorders such as the first one is a uh, phenyl keto nuria and next a uh, color blindness the next a uh, hemophilia emo filia then then after that albinism comma sickle cell anemia then etc this all are the the mendelian disorders this all are also should follow the the mendelian pattern of inheritance according to the mendel it is a old disorders the monogenetic disorders so now what we have to study now we are going to study the one by one like phenylketonuria color blindness hemophilia albinism sickle cell anemia this all are we are going to study that now the first we are going to discussing about the what the color blindness the now we are going to discussing about the color blindness the color blindness also called as color vision deficiency or the color blindness another name, name is blue green color deep color blindness the next uh, one by one about the color blindness we will discuss that the color blindness it is a the sex linked recessive disorder recessive disorder which of the color blindness what is the meaning of color blindness means color blindness means unable to recognize the the colors the mainly the primary color that is a blue and green color we are unable to discriminate the between the blue and green color that's why it is called blue green color blindness so actually the color is be recognized by the by using of one of the sense organ that is the eye the because the eye is helpful to the vision in the eye is present the to two type of the cell now we can take the eye in the eye the two type of the cells is there one is rod cells rod cells another is cone cells what is here the between this the rod cell and cone cell the rod cell to consisting the pigment is rod of sin 
the next the cone cell to consisting the pigment is iodopsin the next uh, the the rod cells it is worked in low light level but it can take the cone cell it is worked in a high light level and it is used to recognize the color which one the cone cell if we are we affected the color blindness the defect in where in the cone cell which the special the pigment is uh, opsin here also opsin here i have that is opsin only that so now the cone cell actually the three type of the base in science the three type of the cone cells are present in human eyes what are the three type of the cone cells uh, again we divide the three type of the the cone cells uh, one is s type of cone cell the next uh, second one is m type uh, m type of cone cell the next uh, last one is l type of the cone cell yes means the small type of the cone cell it means medium type of the cone cell the third one is a large type of the the clone cell the base run the the size now as you can see the h type of the cone cell is sensitive to the blue color the next m type of the cone cell it is the uh, sensitive to the green color the next the last one is l type of the cone cell sensitive to the red color but here the we can take the s type of the cell is gene s type of the cell gene is encoded on 7th chromosome it is on seven encoded on seventh chromosome which of the s type of the cell the next m and l type of the cell the both are the present on x chromosome present on the x chromosome so this color blindness is called as x linked inheritance x linked inheritance because here the m and l type is present on the x chromosomes that's why it is called x linked inheritance and uh, those who suffer with the color blindness they are unable to recognize the blue and green color the mainly the primary colors what are the forms of the common forms of the color blindness the common forms of the color blindness are one is protonopia second one is deuteronopia next third one is trito no pia what is a protonopia means if unable to recognize the a color of the red is called protonopia if heteronopia means green what the heteronopia if the heteronopia means green green color blindness green color color blindness the next the tritonopia red is a protonopia color blindness if tritonopia means the green color blindness the tritonopia blue green next is the blue blue color color blindness these are the common forms of the color blindness see here in the color blindness Uh, which is the genes it is present on x chromosome only but actually the color blindness is recognized by the one test 
that is a ishihara test what is the ishihara test it is one of the important bit in the entrance examination ishihara test what they are doing that they are showing the like that different types of the color blue green red yellow like this different type of the colors they are showing that but we, we are they show to who suffered with the color blindness they show to them in those who are suffered with the color blindness they are recognizing the all the type of the colors in a vibrier but except the, the two colors the the primary colors they are unable to recognize the base run that is they are identify the is they are we suffer with the color blindness that it is only ishihara test so next is the what are the phenotype of the color blind of nurse next the phenotypic ratio of the color blindness see here let us that is it, it is a one of the very important to uh, bit to the symbol representation for example x to power of c is there what it is a defective or life for option it means is a symbol of color blindness symbol of the color blindness if x to the power of n is there the normal allies for the opsin pigment means it is a is a normal person is not affected of the color blindness it is a symbols now we can take the condition condition in males condition in the males see the condition in males if x to the power of n and y y is a male it is a what the normal allies normal allies are in males then now you can take the means x to the power of c and y it is a what defective allies defective allies are in males nothing but is suffered with the color blindness the next again the condition the condition in a females if take the condition in female for for example x to the power of n x to the power of n is a normal allies in a female the next then after that x to the power of a c and x to the power of n is there the carrier the carrier in other word they didn't affected up the exposed the characters of color blindness just it is a carrier of the color blindness to the one generation to another generation that is x to the power of c and x to the power of n the next the last one is x to the power of c and x to the power of c it is a indication of color blindness it is indication of what color blindness this all on the phenotype is a x to the power of c is a defective allies x to the power of c normal allies for the opsin pigment in conditioning the male x to the power of n and y is a normal allies if this like this phenotype is there x to the power of c y is a defective or color blindness male x to the power of n n is a normal female but x to the power of c and n carriers x to the power of c and c is a color blindness here the one important thing is there if see here the color blindness main the rate what the color blindness main if you take x to the power of c and y it is a what color blindness main now now we can take the color blindness the female see here if one to affect up the female the compulsory two allies become affected but here the only one x chromosome only become affected in males they are affected of color blindness but in female two x chromosomes are affected of the color blindness then only they are suffered with color blindness here the only one x chromosome only affected in males they are suffered with the color blindness so based on that what we have said that 
the males it is the chance to effective percentage is eight percentage. Very very important in entrance case at examination. Another in female zero point four percent is affected chances compared with the male. Male is eight percent. The female is a zero point four percent. Now what we are going to study the base run of this alleles. In type ratios, we have do the problems on color blindness. Now see the first problem that what the mother is the color blindness. It is a symbol of mother. It is a father. Yes, color blindness mother and a normal father. This is the part of P1 generations. See what is the phenotype? Color blindness mother. The phenotype is x to the power of c x to the power of c isn't it then is a phenotype now the normal father means x to the power of n comma y then now what here the you can take the meiosis after the meiosis so what happened the gamete formation gametogenesis the gamete formation the gametogenesis what happened same x to the power of c again x to the power of c again here also x to the power of n and y the next you can go for the f1 generation see first this and first gamete x to the power of c and x to the power of n the next this and this x to the power of c and y this combined both the next uh, x to the power of c and x to the power of n. The next uh, x to the power of c and y. See here in the four offspring in F1 generation, the first x to the power of c and n, it is a phenotype of what? It is a carrier. Next x to the power of c and y, color blind male. Is x to the power of c and n? It is a carrier female. Carrier female. Carrier female. The next X to power of C by color blind male. Means uh, if the color blind is mother is a marriage of the normal father, what is the F1 generation? The chances of the color blindness is a uh, 50% females all are carriers. All females are carriers. All the females are carriers. All the males, all the males are color blindness. Means here the the 50 percent are the carrier female remaining 50 percent is the color blindness males when if color blind mother marry the normal father it's a case one now we will go to uh, now in case two the carrier female if marry the normal male what are the chances of the f1 generation of the offspring the carrier female means x to the power of c and x to the power of n. The next normal male means x to the power of n and y. Then now it is a P1 generation, I mean so P1 generation, parental generation. Now what meiosis? Now gametes. The formation of the gametes how? Same like that x to the power of c, x to the power of n. Same gametes x to the power of n and y. Now we can go for the F1 generation. In the F1 generation, this and this. x to the power of c and x to the power of n. Then x to the power of c and y. Next x to the power of n, x to the power of n. The next last one is x to the power of n and y. See here what we are understanding. X to the power of C and N means uh, the first female is uh, carrier. The second male is uh, color blind male. The next uh, 
नॉर्मल थर्ड फीमेल नॉर्मल फीमेल नेक्स्ट फोर्थ इज अ नॉर्मल मेल मींस ये था यू कैन टेक द फोर टाइप्स इज देयर फिर 25 परसेंट इज अबाउट नॉर्मल मेल इज देयर नेक्स्ट 25 परसेंट इज अबाउट नॉर्मल फीमेल इज देयर 25 परसेंट इज द वो कलर ब्लाइंड मेल इज देयर तो 25 परसेंट इज द कैरियर द फीमेल सॉर इज देयर इफ द कैरियर फीमेल और मैरी द नॉर्मल मेल्स तो लाइक दैट दे विल आस्क इन द एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन so just to remember the phenotype it is a easily this so anything doubt is there keep on comment section or call on phone phone call so okay